Chimai. Today we're slightly off the beaten track and we're in uh, a local woodland and we've come to see this beautiful tree here and this is a crab apple or Mela sylvestris or in Welsh aval crank which literally translates as crab apple um, and it's a deciduous native of Britain uh, and it's got this rounded dense crown it's very difficult to see from inside of the woodland here but I can't find a nice example to look at from the outside um, and it has sort of uh, it's, it's quite densely branched as you can see up there now the twigs often have short thorns on them, which is very different to our domesticated apples. Now these are found in, in mixed um, deciduous woodlands as we've got here. They can be found in hedgerows and river valleys. Um, but these days, genuine crab apples are really hard to find. They're, they're quite uncommon because um, it's difficult to distinguish between crab apples and um, naturalized and de degenerate cultivated um, apples which will over time revert, if they're if they sort of not tended to, will revert back to the parent species, one of them being crab apples. Um, so What's happened today is that we've been walking along and one of my children has spotted all of these beautiful little round apples on the floor which kind of gave away the position of this crab apple tree. But just because we found some little round apples on the floor doesn't necessarily mean that, it's, that it is a genuine um, native crab apple because like I say it, they can revert back to, um, to their original uh, original type which is like this. Um, now the name probably, and it's not given away by this particular specimen here, probably derives from the fact that um, with age they become quite sort of um, tangled and arched over to the ground like a crab. This particular tree here is quite tall um, and they can reach about 10 meters tall and they can live up to about 100 years old. And for a crab apple, this one here is, is quite old. Um, now, the thing with this being in a, in a woodland is that most of the things we want to look at are high up, but luckily a leaf had fallen off earlier and I, I kept it in my pocket, um, I found it on the ground. Now the leaves, and I'll see, I don't know how clearly you can see that one there, yeah. The stalks, they have stalks, and the stalks are normally about 1.5 to 4 centimetres long. Um, and they this kind of broad oval shaped. Um, and the leaf is about 3 to 6 centimetres long, as you can see there. And they've got, I'm not sure you can see it against, um, put it in my hand there. They've got this toothed margin like that. Um, and they're like a lot of leaves really, paler below. There we go. Obviously, we've missed the time of year now for flowers. The flowers are around May, April to May, and apple blossom is just something that people recognize. They're beautiful, sort of five petaled, um, growing um, in clusters, uh, and crab apple blossom is usually sort of uh, I think it's sort of um, like a, a white on the inside and a paler pink on the outside. And they give off this um, lovely sweet scent. Now the bark, as you can see on this one here, is a greyish brown and, and it cracks into small plates as it gets older. And if we follow it up, and you can see the moss that, and the ivy that's tracking up this one. But you can see here how it's sort of breaking into these plates and the colour that, uh, that is in it. But it's these apples that led us to this tree in the first place and there's quite a crop this year um, and you would think by the size of them that they're not mature but these are the size of crab apples so if we take a look at one like that now that uh, it's, it's sort of well you know we're, we're September October now we're just at the start of October and, and the apples are obviously starting to fall um, but they're about two to three centimeters um, across they're yellowy green um, sometimes they'll flush slightly red I mean you can just see a reddish tinge to that one there um, but unlike our domesticated apples they're really dry and sour to taste so as I've said crab apples um, are one of the parent plants uh, parent plant species used in the development of cultivated apples um, and actually 
They're a distant relative of the rose, and that's why you'll find these thorny twigs on some of them. Now, crab apple trees were such a prominent feature in the landscape that they were used as boundary markers and as a landscape feature in early charters. Um, and there's lots of place names that incorporate the, the words associated with apple, um, like the, Ca the Celtic word abal, uh, the Welsh word aval, um, and there are other local variations as well. There's also associated with people's names, like you'll get the surname Crabtree. Um, you would imagine that being uh, a, a fruiting tree like this with um, flowers, they're great for pollinators and the birds and the mammals love to eat these, um, these apples that are down by here. And obviously as they eat them, they disperse the seeds. And it's things like blackbirds, crows, mice, voles, badgers. Um, they will all enjoy feeding on these apples down here. The leaves, Oh, which I've dropped now, but the leaves make a good food for caterpillars um, like the eyed hawk moth um, and the green pug. Crab apple trees really these days are linked very much um, when you discuss things like the uses and the law with just domesticated um, apples because both of them make excellent firewood that um, is, is sweetly scented, actually. It smells lovely. Um, the wood is hard and fine-grained, which makes it really useful for woodwork in things like wood turning, engraving, uh, making musical instruments. It's even used because of that hard grain as, um, for, for sculptors' mallets. The fruit down there um, has traditionally been made for uh, used for making alcoholic drinks like cider and also for and, and most people have heard of crab apple jelly like preserves like that the juice should we juice these the juice um, uh, of the fruit like this is known as ver juice and has been used as a cure for sprains in the past um, and in Ireland, the bark of the crab apple was used to make um, a yellow dye to help uh, color wool now there's lots of lore and um, myths associated with apple trees and not just crab apple trees but the, the domesticated apples as time has gone on because um, they have been, oh there's an apple just fell and nearly hit us. Um, they have been domesticated for a long time. Now, the magical island of Avalon was also known as the Isle of Apples. Um, it's also been quite revered by um, druids uh, and, and their sacred orchards because, uh, and if you, if you go back and look at the, the video on mistletoe, mistletoe really likes growing in apple trees and, and mistletoe also comes with its own sort of um, myths and lore. But the interesting thing is that historically the apple was often believed to be the forbidden fruit eaten by, um, eaten by Adam and Eve but the Bible only mentions um, fruit from the tree of knowledge um, of good and evil. Now, the belief that the apple is the forbidden fruit may be a misconception because from the Latin malus, which um, used as, as an adjective means evil, but actually used as a noun translates as apple. So there could be that sort of, um, that misconception that because of that translation, apple trees have always been assumed, uh, uh, associated with the forbidden fruit. Now, apples have always been associated with love and marriage, and it was said that if you um, threw the pips into the fire while saying the name of your love, um, if they exploded, if those um, pips exploded in the fire, then the love is true. Um, and apple wood has always been used as a wood to be burnt at, um, uh, by Celts at festivals. So there we go, crab apples. Like I say, they are not as common as they used to be. Um, it's difficult to distinguish them from, uh, from the uh, domesticated, cultivated versions, but it's a great time to go out and find them like this. And then you can look for those little clues and those little signs, check the leaves, check for those little spikes on, the, on some of the twigs. Um, and you may just be lucky and find yourself a, a genuine crab apple. So there we go. It's a great time to go out and find a crab apple. So good luck.